Nakashita says that a previously registered Sony camera is a full-frame camera, not a compact camera, and it's due out at the end of this month. Let's get into it. Delivering informative capability-based reviews and tutorials on camera gear, filming techniques, and content creation. Hi, I'm Simon, and this is The Ordinary Filmmaker. If you're new here, please like and subscribe as it helps grow my channel. And all the links to everything I talk about in this video, I've placed in the description down below. Now I'm trying to be quiet, trying to keep things on the low side because it's just past midnight and everybody's asleep. And I was about to go to sleep too, but then I got this alert on my computer telling me that we have an update from Sony Rumors on a new Sony Alpha camera. Now I don't have a lot to go on in this video, but it is significant enough for it to have its own video. Nakashita reports that the previously registered Sony WW119533 is a full frame camera due out later this month. This is good news and it is expected. As I've said over several videos over the past few weeks, the absence of an announcement at Sony's virtual press conference is in no way an indication that Sony does not have plans to release a full frame alpha camera. Sony rumors had indicated that a full frame camera was due out before the end of two months. And I've said that in the last several videos, that a full frame camera has been registered in China. The stars are lining up for an A7S III or the A7 IV. Which camera do you think we're going to get? Now, I personally just have to go for the underdog here. I believe we're going to get the A7S III. It's been in development for probably going on about five years now. And the A7 IV was released about two years ago. Sorry, I keep doing this. I don't know why I do that. The A7 III was le released about two years ago, so it's still a little early for a revision, the A7 IV, but not with Sony. See, Sony, when they first came hitting the scene around 2013, kept hitting us with new camera models and revisions every year. So two years? Yeah, it's possible we could be getting the A7 IV, but we could be getting the A7S III. Either way, this is good news for Sony Alpha fans. Is it going to be at the end of this month? Is it going to be before or after Canon announces their EOS R5? I don't know, but this is starting to make things a little bit more exciting. Sure, I'm interested in the EOS R5. Who isn't? It's grabbing all the attention right now. It's getting all the interest. Uh, every video I talk about the R5, it, the, the views just go through the roof. Well, not through the roof like they would for Fronos or Tony Northrup. But for me, they're some of my most popular watched videos. But there's also a lot of interest in Sony too. Since the beginning of May, I've noticed a lot more interest in Sony and Canon. So this is great news. It's great news for competition. I don't want to see, look, I, 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 I like the idea of the R5. I'm very, I'm seriously interested in getting this camera, but I don't want Canon to walk all over the competition. I don't want them to walk away. I'd love to see a, a Sony camera that's comparable to what the EOS R5 will be. Or maybe they're taking a camera in a slightly different approach. What are they going to do? Are they going to have a global shutter? What is going to be new? What is Sony going to do differently? Is it going to be an iterative or is it going to be evolutionary? And that's what we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, judging by my watch here, we've just ticked over and it's Saturday now. It's Saturday the 9th. So that gives us, I don't know, maybe about two weeks before we start seeing announcements. We could wait till the end of the month, but I think right around when Photokina was supposed to be is when we're going to start to see some announcements. The A7S III oh, would be amazing to see that camera come out. I mean, we've been waiting a long time. I personally have seriously thought of getting this camera. The A7S II was groundbreaking, low light performance, detail. So what's the A7S III going to be? More detail? Better low light performance? Or the Sony Alpha? A7 IV. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? T tell me in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get the A7S III or are we going to get the A7 IV? Or is Sony going to do something completely different? I don't know. So we've got one of the Alpha cameras coming out and we've also got the EOS R5. I think that makes for a very, very interesting May. The GH6 we know is going to be pushed into, well, late summer, early fall. The real news here, everything in this video is, is about the A7S III, because when, or the A7 IV, not the EOS R5, when things start coming from Nakashita, we know things are close. 
And Sony Rumors told us just, I think it was last week, that a full-frame camera was registered in China. So things are getting really close. I think, you know, instead of waiting about two months, I, I think that the rumor that we're going to be getting a camera at the end of this month, I think that's looking very good. So for all you that were watching this video, for all you viewers that were watching the, um, uh, the Sony virtual press conference that were <sighs> upset, angered at Sony, even threatening to leave Sony, I hope you haven't done anything rash because I think Sony is going to give you a little bit of a summer present. This would be really nice. I'm looking forward to this. We don't have any dates. Uh, Canon hasn't given us any dates. Sony hasn't given us any dates. But I would really seriously be looking right around Photokina, which is going to be the week of the 18th to the 22nd. I really think somewhere in that time we're going to get some announcements. Now, usually what happens uh, just before these major trade shows, whether it be Photokina or something else, camera companies don't often announce it at the trade show. They'll usually leak it. Well, not leak it. They'll announce it a few days before. So that's why I think we're going to get it likely around the 18th, which is only what? Nine days away? Eleven days away. My math isn't very good. So that's really exciting news. So that's all I really had for you guys today. It wasn't a lot of information, but I thought it was relevant enough and timely enough that I needed to get this out to you late in the middle of the night. But in Australasia, Southeast Asia, it's already morning time. It's already, and I wanted you guys to have something when you wake up, some good news for you. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. All equipment used and notes are placed in the description box, show more box, or down arrow thingy next to the title on the mobile app.